All right, man, so Drake dropped for all the dogs. And to be honest with you, I didn't listen twice. And this album is for all the bitches. <laughs> But there was some good songs on there. And one of the songs I liked was Fear of Height. Now, I didn't kind of realize it at first, but as Twitter did the lyrical miracle breakdown like I expected them to do, they're saying that Drake took some shots at Rihanna and her boyfriend, Pretty Flocko Jody the Third, AKA ASAP Rock. Now, as I listened to this lyrical breakdown, he definitely took some shots at Rihanna, but the bars were mid, I must say. And I thought that the album overall was just all right. It had its moments, it had its peaks and valleys. I think it started off slow, ended kind of strong, but I just didn't get this one right here. Now, I don't know if Rihanna and Drake got problems as far as behind the scenes, something is going on, but to me, it's just coming off like I'm desperate. I'm trying to be like Future. He even has a song, What Would Pluto Do? Like he's trying to just create some controversy with his exes. Now we've seen Drake kind of be a little bit more controversial lately. You know, he's been coming at Megan Thee Stallion a couple times. Now he's trying to come at Rihanna. We already know he's going to try to come at Pusha T and Kanye West on the album. And at this point, I just think Drake needs to go get some counseling. Yeah, because he don't know how to let a grudge go. When he win, the grudge is good. We can be friends again. But when he lose, oh my God, he got to keep going and going and going, I guess, until he wins something. Now, on this lyrical breakdown, this is what Drake says. Why they made it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Y'all can't ruin me. Better him than me. Better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm I'm anti. Yeah, and the sex was average with you. Yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. Until like a family picture. And I had way better, badder bitches than you, to be honest. Yeah, that man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those were just breathtaking bars, Drake. Now, let's dissect this. Now, he starts off, like I said, he said, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? First of all, that's cap number one, my boy. Ain't nobody talking about Drake and Rihanna in 2023. That's a thing of the past. Let it go. We know that you were obsessed with her. We know that she embarrassed you. You tried to give her a kiss at the VMAs after you brought her out. That's the first girl you ever really showed affection for her publicly. And she said, my boy, keep it business. Keep it cute. Stop trying to make us a thing. We not even like that for real. Then you proceed to say, gal can't ruin me. And we know what that was about. That was you trying to give a subtle hint that you're talking about Rihanna. Because <laughs> why would you say that in a Caribbean accent? We know where she's from. We know she's from Barbados. It is what it is. Then you proceed to say, better him than me. Better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. We know what anti means. That's the name of her album. You're not slick. You're saying better him than me. Better it's not me. I don't know about you and how y'all fell out, but clearly he loves it over there. Yeah. Clearly ASAP Rocky loves it over there in Rihanna's Poonanny. He didn't impregnate her twice. What are you talking about? Then you said, yeah, and the sex was average with you. Yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. Listen, I'm always out for for men's empowerment but this right here whenever a man starts talking like that the sex was average or this wasn't even good like you damn near sound like the girls who be like oh your dick was little you know what i mean like that's all you got to say about rihanna out of everything out of all the personal moments y'all didn't had the sex was average boy don't nobody care about average sex with rihanna the sex could be bad we still gonna be like baby it's rihanna i love rihanna the swag everything about rihanna is great is amazing that's why you was out there trying to kiss her in public knowing that you ain't never did did that with nobody else. Now you out here kissing on Sexy Red who just got freaked out by a nigga who spit yellow globs of spit on his dick and put it in her. Like, really a downgrade. Stop playing with me, boy. You out here buying Cartier watches for hood rats. Talking about, yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. Clearly y'all was in some type of relationship, my boy. We all know y'all had sex. We didn't need to know that. Weirdo. Then you say, and I had way better bitches than you. Yeah, you might have, but we all know that that's not what makes or breaks the woman, right? There was a reason that you were into Rihanna, you said, why are they acting like I'm still hung up on you? Meaning that you were once hung up on her prior. And it wasn't because, oh, this is the baddest bitch I ever had. You're saying you had way better bitches. You want to be, uh, you want to be future so bad. That's why you got a song called What Would Pluto Do? This isn't you, Drake. You're a certified lover boy, remember? Now you out here trying to be future? You trying to be Pluto? Let it go. Be you. And this is the problem that I have with the album right here. I feel like the album is lacking the personal moments that Drake used to give us. I feel like Drake was just going for good flow.
flows. He was riding the beat, good production. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I felt like he was a little lazy on the album. The lyrics were kind of mid, and he didn't give us those personal stories. He didn't give us the one that I needed was Courtney from Hooters on Peace Street. It was more so just like, yeah, don't fuck with the six. Yeah, it's your boy. Yeah, I might send some shooters at your way. Like, let it go. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck on Virginia, Virginia Williams. Like, let it go. Like, you don't let nothing go. Like, you sitting here still trying to come at Pusha T. You coming at Kanye. Like, you just seem like a man who's lacking fulfillment. Like, you got all, everything in life that you need. But it seems like you're lacking happiness. Because why on earth are you still going at Rihanna and ASAP Rocky? You put ASAP Rocky on his first show. Is that your ego talking? Are you mad because the man got the girl that you wanted and you feel like you're above him? Is that what it is? Y'all know how these rappers' egos get. And that's what it's sounding like to me. So, to be honest with you, I think that, Drake, you need to do better as a man. That wasn't player. That wasn't P. Um, boys will be boys, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below about this situation, man. Is Drake out of pocket? Or y'all think that this is very on brand? It's what y'all want? It's what y'all want to hear? Let me know. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boop. Just the flare. It's him. Yeah.